Okay, a little more work with function notation. I have this function f of x is 2x minus 1. Let's find f of x minus f of a over x minus a. All right, so this is f of x. This is f of x, so I'm just going to put in 2x minus 1. I'll put it in parentheses. Here's my subtraction sign because that's part of the problem. Now I want f of a. Well, if f of x is 2x minus 1, f of a is going to be 2a minus 1. So 2a minus 1, all that is divided by x minus a. All right, that's all there is to the function notation. The rest is just algebra. So if I get this down correctly and I can do the algebra, I'll have no problem getting the right answer to this. So next, let's remove these parentheses. I have 2x minus 1. Remember this you can think of as negative 1 times each thing inside there. So I have minus 2a plus 1 all divided by x minus a. Okay, 2x minus 1 minus 2a plus 1. The negative 1 and the positive 1, they'll add to 0. I'm going to have left here 2x minus 2a, and I'm going to factor a 2 out. Because I see that I have that factor of x minus a in the denominator, so why not? I notice there's a 2 common to each of those terms. I factor that out. The negative 1 and positive 1 add to 0. So now I can reduce to lowest terms, and I end up with just 2. So kind of complicated looking expression right here, but really it simplifies down to just 2. So um, function notation f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a. We do just what it says. Here's another expression, similar expression, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Well, let's see. f of x plus h f of x is 2x minus 1. So f of x plus h is going to be 2x plus h minus 1. So 2 times x plus h minus 1, that's f of x plus h. Now my subtraction sign, and then I want to subtract off f of x, which is 2x minus 1. And again, I'll put that in parentheses. Let me um, mark this off so I don't get confused there. And that's all divided by h. Okay, so now the rest is algebra. That takes care of the function notation. Here's f of x plus h. I do the same thing every time. f of x is 2 times x minus 1. Whatever's inside here is 2 times that thing minus 1. Minus, that's the subtraction sign, whoops, up here. And then I subtract off f of x. Okay, let's simplify. 2x plus 2h minus 1. Now, again, minus 1 times 2x, minus 2x, negative 1 times negative 1, positive 1, all divided by h. What do we have here? 2x plus negative 2x, those will add to 0. Negative 1 and positive 1, those add to 0. I end up with um, 2h divided by h, so that also comes out to be 2. Turns out that's no coincidence. These are two formulas, two ways to represent really the same thing. That's why they both came out to be two over here, and formulas that you'll see if you go on and take a calculus class. So this is just practice at being able to use function notation to simplify these expressions. Okay, I want to work, do the same two problems here, but I want to use a new function. I'm going to go to the next board. Okay, this time I have f of x is equal to x squared minus 4, and I want to find the same expression here, and then this one also. All right, let's do this one first. I'm going to start with f of x, which is x squared minus 4. Just so I don't get confused, I'll put parentheses around it. Subtract, there's my subtraction sign that's in the problem, f of a. Well, if f of x is x squared minus 4, f of a is, in parentheses, a squared minus 4. And that's all divided by x minus a. Let's remove the parentheses here, x squared minus 4, minus a squared, plus 4, all divided by x minus a. Right, when I remove the parentheses right here because of the negative sign in front, that becomes negative a squared and positive 4. All right, let's see. Negative 4 and positive 4, those will add to 0. I have x squared minus a squared. Let's get rid of that parentheses there. x squared minus a squared over x minus a. All right, I want to reduce that to lowest terms. I can't do any dividing out yet. I have to factor the numerator so I can see if there's any factors common to the numerator and denominator. 
So I'm going to bring this over here, factor the numerator into x plus a times x minus a. That's all divided by x minus a. All right, now I can divide out that common factor x minus a. What's left is x plus a. All right, x plus a, that's the answer to that. That simplifies very nicely that way. Okay, so f of x minus f of a over x minus a, that's it for function notation. The rest of that is just algebra. Here you can get caught if you're not uh, careful. You want to make sure you factor the numerator and denominator, then divide out the factors that they have in common. That'll give you your result. Let's try the next one. f of x plus h minus f of x, okay f of x plus h. f of x is x squared minus 4, so f of x plus h will be x plus h quantity squared minus 4. So x plus h squared minus 4 subtract, that's the subtraction sign that's in the problem, f of x, x squared minus 4, and that's all divided by h. Okay, so f of x plus h, that's this, minus f of x, all divided by h. I'm being very consistent here. I, I never change what the function tells me to do. If it tells me to square this and subtract 4, I do that every time. Here, this time I've squared x plus h, subtracted 4. This time I squared x and subtracted 4. I always do the same thing once I know what the function rule is. All right, so let's see. Let's try to simplify this. x plus h squared is x squared plus 2xh, you don't want to forget that middle term, plus h squared, minus 4, minus x squared, and then what about this? Negative 1 times each thing inside there, that's going to be positive 4. All divided by h. So what do I have here? x squared subtract x squared, those will add to 0. And then I have 2xh, h squared, minus 4, positive 4. Those will add to 0. And so I'm going to bring it back over here. I end up with, uh, what do I have here? 2xh plus h squared. Let's bring it over here. 2xh plus h squared all over h. What's next? Factor h from the numerator. Let's write it over here. h times 2 x plus h all over h. Divide out the h's. 2x plus h is the answer that I get right here. I'm kind of out of room, so I can't write it. Um, again, f of x plus h, that's this. Minus f of x, that's this. Divided by h, that's it for the function notation. The rest of this is just algebra. Where can you possibly make a mistake if you're not careful? Leaving out that middle term. Not changing these signs when you get rid of the parentheses right here. If you do everything correctly, this will end up very nice like this. You can see the h common to each term, take it outside. Here's what's left, those h's divide out. So just a few more problems that involve function notation and some formulas that you may see later on if you go on in mathematics.